Hey everyone, welcome back. Um, today I will be here filming my 25 week pregnancy update. Today is Sunday, September 4th. It is actually the day before Labor Day here in the US. Um, so I'm actually filming this a little bit earlier than I have filmed some of my previous updates, but since I'm home um, and I'm off tomorrow, I figured I would go ahead and get this taken care of since this week will be very busy for us. So as far as symptoms this last week, everything's been pretty much the same. Heartburn is definitely becoming more consistent and Tums are being required every day. And um, I am still waking up a lot at night to go to the bathroom and I am starting to feel the baby's kicks a, a lot more. So um, that's been really exciting. My husband's been able to feel her kick. He's the only person she'll kick for though besides me. Um, as soon as anyone else puts their hand on my stomach, she stops. So, um, I think she can tell it's dad and that she should kick for dad and then she doesn't do it for anybody else after that. So, um, something that was a little bit new this week is this last weekend, I, I mentioned in my last video, we were going down to see my dad and stepmom that live at Lake of the Ozarks and, um, when I was staying down there, I didn't take my Snoogle pregnancy pillow because... I, um, they have a queen size bed that we sleep in and it's not quite big enough for me, Dan, and my Snoogle. So I didn't take it with me, but I did notice about halfway through the night that I had a really hard time sleeping and, um, my stomach weight was definitely compressed more to one side than the other whenever I tried to lay on my side, which meant that I ended up sleeping on my back a lot, which was even more uncomfortable because you're not supposed to do that after 20 weeks. So I ended up getting up in the middle of the night and putting a pillow alongside my stomach to help prevent some of that, which I did sleep better once I did that. Um, but then when we got home today, I took a very long two and a half hour nap um, because I was still so tired from not sleeping all night. So that was a little bit rough. Um, as far as the sleeping has been. Um, I've also noticed some increased indigestion. So um, th this is one of the fun, not so nice sides of pregnancy, but increased like burping. <laughs> um, and I, I haven't had a drastic increase in flatulence as most people do in pregnancy. So I'm very thankful for that. Um, but I have had um, where it feels like there's a lot of air bubbles that just kind of sit right here along my chest. Um, can be painful sometimes because it feels like feels like when you drink a soda entirely too fast and then all those air bubbles just kind of congest up through your chest. So I've noticed that a little bit more this week. Um, I don't know if it's related to anything I've been eating or drinking, um, but I'm hoping that that starts to calm down a little bit as well. As far as highlights for this week, um, a few things. First, you can see that I am sitting in our nursery chair. Our glider came in and my husband and I put it together ourselves, um, which neither one of us really like putting together furniture and neither one of us are incredibly handy with it. So I was very excited we were able to do it ourselves. Um, see, it is comfortable. It's wide like I wanted. Um, and now that all the furniture is in her room, I realize just how incredibly small her room is. So everything fits and everything sits in a position that I'm okay with, but it's not um, its not what I had envisioned her room would look like. I definitely expected more center space where she would have more room. So I have decided um, since getting this glider that because of the way it sits, um, it does lean back a little bit further because of how big it is when it's not being used and how low it actually is to the ground, I'm not going to buy an ottoman. Um, I know I mentioned in my last video that I was going to wait and decide until I actually got this chair in, but now that I see how big it is and how much room it takes up and how easy it really is to glide with just one foot, I'm not overly concerned about having an ottoman for it because I really don't want to take up any more space in her room for it. Um, another highlight is harder to see, but behind me, these white shelves have been a huge concern for, well, I a concern. I shouldn't say huge concern because they're just shelves, but have been definitely a concern for me because um, I had a very specific image in mind of what I wanted her reading nook and her bookshelves to look like in her room. And as we got everything into her room and we got all the furniture put together, we got the glider put together, I realized just how incredibly small this room was and we ran out of shelf space very quickly. So I reached out to some of my friends in one of my um, support groups and um, took some good pictures of the room and how it's laid out, trying to find the best solution for these shelves. 
and the main consensus was to buy different shelves but I have my heart set on these shelves because I, I like I said I was very this is one of the few things when I envisioned her room that I envisioned it very specifically and I wanted it done a very specific way and I'm very happy to say that I was able to make them work um, I put them up this evening and I like the way they look I think the way it works out is it'll be a little bit of a smaller reading nook than I would have originally anticipated for her to have but I felt like if I put the shelves up too high neither her nor I would be able to reach them I'm only 5'3 and I didn't want to put them behind a piece of furniture that I had to lean around to get over either and I mean they're her books when she's two or three years old and she wants to get her books down without me I don't want her to be trying to climb on stuff to get to her books. So there's three of those shelves. It's a little harder to see because of the way I've moved the glider to film this video. But um, I will do a nursery tour video here in the next couple of weeks to show you guys how everything actually looks now that all of the smaller intricate pieces that I've been working on the last few weeks have been finalized. Um, so as far as baby buys and gifts, I have quite a few this week. So I will start with the one thing that I purchased, and I actually purchased it this evening. So um, you can see behind me this um, plaque that's on her wall. It's one of the is one of only two things that is pink in her entire room. So pink was supposed to be her accent color, which is my all-time favorite color, um, but it became very gray and in blue so I wanted to find something that could add some more color to her room so tonight I actually purchased a pillow it says follow your dreams for the glider that is um it's like a magenta color it's not really pink but I absolutely adore this pillow I got it for $12 at TJ Maxx tonight and I have ordered one from Amazon that is pink and white chevron with a navy anchor on it which you guys have I'm sure you know from my other videos anchors are my thing so I'm very excited about that one to come in as well and I love how eclectic everything is everything is so different in her room no one piece is alike another so I really like that too so this is the only thing that I have actually bought this week um, we did receive a few gifts so first the first thing I will not show you but um, if I remember I'll insert a picture here um, we received our high chair from our registry from my husband's cousin and I was so thrilled because I love this high chair and I'm really excited that we have it so that we'll be able to use it and I think it'll be so fun to send them pictures when she's older and she's eating in it and you know how kids are dropping Cheerios everywhere it just I can picture the fun pictures we'll get to send them um, and they also bought us something from our registry at Babies R Us that I really wanted that we do not it's not like a baby necessity but I just think it is so neat it is and it's gonna be hard to see I think with my small camera but it is a giraffe mat, if you can see that. It's pretty big, it's actually about probably three feet from top of the head to the bottom. It is incredibly soft and it's flat, just a little bit of stuffing in it to lay on the floor so that the baby can lay on the floor. So I think this will be really nice, especially like in my husband's office, if she's in there with him, he has hardwood. In that room this would be nice if I need her to sit in the kitchen with me when I'm cooking or something but even on the carpet this is just softer it's not as rough as carpet and I think it'll be fun for her you know just as far as how comfortable it is to have something that she can lay on for you know watching TV or just whatever it might be when she gets to be a little bit older even how many time as a baby um, and those both came from my husband's cousin which I'm very excited about um, I mentioned earlier that I went down to see my dad and stepmom this weekend and I know you guys know from previous videos that my husband and I are huge Cardinals fans so they actually bought her one of her first little Cardinals outfits and it has little matching booties that go with it so um, this is very cute I'm very I'm it'll six to nine months so it'll fit her perfect summertime um, I'm sure she will have lots of Cardinals clothes so this is definitely going to be worn and then my friend Lauren is not going to be able to make my baby shower. So she actually had a gift from Target mailed to us. Um, she had asked me my intent on feeding, if I'm going to try to nurse or if I'm going to um, bottle feed. And she actually sent me some lan uh, lanolin nipple cream, some milk storage bags, and then some disposable nursing pads. And then I got another box from her that actually just came in today. Well, yesterday I was gone, but that actually has the first two books that we will put on McKenna's shelves. 
so I had these up there to see how I liked how the shelves looked earlier and I love it these are both books that we were registered for so I went in and took them off my other registry but I'm very excited she got us these um, and I can't wait to read them to her so we do have our baby shower coming up one week it is this coming Saturday so I am really glad that I was able to get her room to a point where I feel like it's done minus you know obviously the stuff we still have to add to it from her baby shower and what needs to be put away and whatnot but I feel like we're a lot more organized we are a lot more ready to you know get the books get the gifts and stuff like that um, because we'll have somewhere to go with everything because I do not like just bags you know sitting around in my house so I'm very excited about that um, it's a short week at work for me. I'm only working Tuesday through Friday, which for my normal six day work week um, is a huge feat. So I'm very excited about that. But other than that, there's not too much going on this last week. It's been a very uneventful week minus lots of baby kicks and gifts. Um, but I will be sure to come on next week with my update. And I may do a separate baby shower haul video because I have a feeling that there's going to be a lot for us to go through and I want to show it all to you guys. Um, especially for those of you that, you know, I know personally and that can't make it. I'd love for you to see how it goes. And I'm hoping to get some actual live footage from my shower on Saturday too. So I can put together a full video for you guys of what our shower was like. So in the meantime, um, I did want to remind everyone that follows my channel that if you follow Megan at Smarty and Stevo, the cha um, I'll link her channel below if I remember to go back and grab the link. Her online baby shower is in just a few weeks, September 24th. And since she lives in Canada, for those of us in the U.S., it does take a little bit more time for items to get to her. So if you're interested in participating in, in Megan's online baby shower, please make sure to check out her channel. And um, her registry information is linked with all of her videos. And she will be opening all of her presents um, on her YouTube channel on that date. So definitely a lot of fun. I know um, getting gifts from friends is like the most exciting part sometimes of having a baby. So if you feel interested um, or so inclined to participate, I definitely urge you to check out her channel and um, take part in that shower as well. So um, until next week, everybody have a wonderful week. Enjoy your Labor Day for those of you here in the U.S. Uh, take some time off and make sure to relax and enjoy your barbecue in the end of summer. And I'll talk to you guys in a week. Bye.